Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a art studio tour. This is just to give you maybe some ideas on how you can set up your own art area. This is not saying that um, if you don't have an official art studio that you can't make good art. In fact, I have only had this studio for a couple of months now and I've been making art full time for a while. So uh, all you really need is just a place to sit or stand if you are using an easel and uh, make art. So this is just to give you some ideas. I hope that you don't like feel like you need to get anything that I have in order to make good art. That's not the case at all. Um, so yeah, we have moved into a house that has got this extra little room and it was perfect for an art studio. So like I said, I've been making art for a long time now and have made art everywhere from the kitchen table to a closet um, to the corner of our bedroom, which is where my last setup was. So yeah, it's obviously super fun to be able to have your own space to be able to decorate you know however you want to my style is very different from what is in the rest of my home and I like to be able to just decorate how I like to you know it's just my own private area so let's get started my desk uh, is from Hobby Lobby and I got this desk years ago. I don't even think that they have the same model anymore, um, but it is one of those types of desks that the top can move up and down. I think it's called like a drafting table. They obviously have others like it. This one comes with drawers. So in this top drawer, I have my soft tools uh, for my pan pastels. So I've got the extra little I don't even know what they're called. The soft tool things <laughs> is in this drawer. And uh, yeah, second drawer, I have just some random batteries, apparently. Not even sure if they work. I also have this key. No idea what it goes to. So obviously can't throw it away because I have no idea what it opens. Uh, and then I have this tin, which has just extra pencils in it. I believe those are Prismacolor Turquoise. I always keep the tins that art supplies come in. In this next drawer, I have got an empty Faber-Castell box. I have a brand new pack of Faber-Castell pencils and this Derwent drawing set. I had gotten it just for the charcoal pencil in there. I also have uh, extra razor blades for my glass scraper and these favorite castell needed erasers these are my favorite and it's really just because of the box that they come in i really like the box because that helps keep them clean and then i also have this sharpener on the other side i have in the space above the drawers i have two palettes this one is my uh, mission golds and then the next one, I believe I have Turner's inside of there. I can't be 100% sure. I put those in there a long time ago, but I'm pretty positive it's Turner's. Then in this drawer, I've got a mix of different drawing supplies in here. All kinds of stuff. Tombow, um, Monterey eraser refills, white drawing pencils, pencil extenders, sandpaper, um, just a whole bunch of random things. I also have uh, makeup brushes that I use all the time on basically every drawing for blending. I really like them for that. I've got these uh, graphite sticks by Generals. I like those a lot. It's a big blending brush that I use. More needed erasers. <laughs> and then these uh, comb sharpeners, I really like them right now. Sometimes the oldies are the best, honestly. Then this drawer is just a mix of random stuff. Palette knives, lead refills, 
highlighters, washi tape. You know how you get, you just get a bunch of random things just in, what do you do with it? You just throw it in a drawer. In the bottom drawer, this is where I have some more tens. Like I say, I don't ever throw these tens away. I always use them for extra storage and organization. So I have this um, Faber-Castell, uh, I think it's called the Perfection Eraser, something like that. I've got this tiny little Altoids 10 and it's got all of my used pencil stubs. I just, ugh, they're so cute, I can't throw them away. And sometimes in a pinch, I can still use them if I absolutely have to. So I also have some broken off lead that if I need it, I can always file it down and use it as a powder. So yeah, so cute, I love it. This next one, this is kind of a bunch of like inks and things like that. So I've got this really cool fountain ink pen that I really like. I've got, um, I guess that's a pit pen. I've got Cricut, <laughs> a Cricut cutter, some red lead refill. I've got other lead refills. Um, what else do I have in here? I have my X-Acto knife refills. Just kind of hardware like that. An ink bottle refill. And then in this one I have my uh, Faber-Castell pencils. Some more of them in there that I've used. And in this top one I keep a whole bunch of blending stumps and Q-tips, stuff like that. Ones that I um, have already dirtied up, I keep them in here to use. Now I have um, this trash can, it's just a Sterilite trash can from Walmart and it's got the little handy step button thing down at the bottom uh, to just make things easier to throw away. Then in my art cart, which I got from Ikea, I have right now my colored pencils sitting in the top of this and I just organize them um, in these recycled glass jars. I have some more drawing supplies up here, my erasers, um, my very old electric eraser, my slice tool. I really like this thing, super handy for drawing and opening packages. I've got my um, mechanical pencils, all my tough stuff eraser, that's my favorite. You know, just your normal kind of drawing items. And then I have this um, utensil caddy thing that I got from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And in it I have all of my big guys, my big um, paint brushes, my drafting brush, my watercolor brushes, any type of brushes that I use for a colored pencil. I have this one that has my scissors, a couple different kinds of scissors. Um, you know, just random bits that I have. I have my red uh, mechanical pencil in there. Stuff like that that's just easy to reach for. My microns. Some Tombos. In this space, I usually put um, the supplies that I need that I'm working, whichever current project I'm working on. So right now I'm doing a pastel drawing. So I have my pet pastels. I have my Contes, I have my um, pan pastels all right in through here. It's just easy to keep everything right there uh, where I can easily reach it. So I'm not having to keep opening and closing a drawer or anything like that. It's very handy. I'm also showing you my I Love Lucy cup. Because <laughs> I do, I love Lucy. I just try and repurpose things like that. This tray is magnetic, so that's really fun. I like putting stuff on it. 
The second drawer just has a bunch of random stuff. My Conte stick boxes, uh, looks like a glue stick, tape, um, water squirter thing. I'm pretty sure my Fitbit charger is in there as well. And then I have both of my pencil holders. That's what both of those are. I have my spray fixative that's right there. I have my um, bowl that I use to hold water for watercolors. I've got some transfer paper and then this acrylic block, which is easy to uh, mix watercolors on, stuff like that. Around the back I have my box of Black Bean Naturals. I really love these pencils. Super special to have. Um, so yeah, and pretty nostalgic I guess to have. So that's where those are. I also have my Derwent sharpener, which is right now under the weather. I don't know what is going on with him, but he is not sharpening to the best of his ability. So he has sit right there for right now. I also have my botanical sketchbook in here. I try and keep it visible so that I remember to use it. I also have some um, botanical books that I really love. So I have Botany for the Artist. And then I have the Botanical Sketchbook. And the Law's Guide to Nature Journaling. On the bottom I have my um, the rest of my pencils. I think those are all just Prismacolor pencils. I also have a CD player. And then this is my reference notebook of all reference pictures that I like that I have already printed out. And I have this bag that I got off of Wish, I believe, and inside it just has all of my cheap acrylic, um, like practice paints, basically. I just keep them all in there. So they're mainly Arteza paints in there. I also have some peacock feathers. Is that right? Is, is it a peacock? No, I don't remember. This is a bookshelf from Ikea and I just love it. So I have um, pictures up there that I like. These are also spice racks from Ikea, super, super cheap. I think they're only like four or five dollars for these spice racks. So on it, I have um, another bottle of fixative. I have my um, doTERRA Motivate on there. I like to wear that when I am drawing and painting. I've got my Gamzol and my Zestit, and then this is a field artist little thing that you can use to hold water and clip it onto a palette. This is a little bottle of Zestit that I keep. And then this is my, um, yeah, I'm pointing to the Zestit. <laughs> this is my stamper that I use uh, to stamp the backs of all of my um, drawings that has my name on it. This is Wanda. <laughs> all of my plants have names in here at least and then this other spice shelf has all of my inks so I've got this one is a Winsor & Newton ink and then all of these are alcohol inks FW alcohol inks by Dale Rowney and then I have a um, Bombay India ink down at the bottom at the end this is my chair. I love this chair. It's from Wayfair. Uh, I got it from Wayfair before any allegations were going on. Uh, and then this is my egg sitter. Sit, my egg sitter. Oh, words. Words are hard. Uh, that sits on top of it because I do get sciatica <laughs> really bad. So, um, so yeah, I think it looks super cute. Then these are all of my little plant babies up here. I have this jar from Ikea. I think it's like from their kitchen section and it has all of my Liquitex basic small little tubes in it. I think they're four ounce tubes. Then I have my violet. I forget what this one's called. I have all of my pathos propagations going back there and my orchid. It only has one bloom left. I think it's leaving blooming season. Then I have the rest of my um, polychromos up here. I, I just got this pencil extender and I love it. It's so pretty. I think it's called a Rosetta um, pencil extender, something like that. 
And then this is my drawer set. I also got it from Wayfair. Um, it was cheaper than the ones that they sell at Ikea, which is why I got that one. In this top drawer, I keep all of my boards. These boards are what I like to draw on, mainly um, the Crescent marker board. I find that to be the smoothest. I really like drawing on those with graphite. So that's where I keep all of those. In this drawer, I just have a bunch of papers. I've got my Mummy Tins pastel paper. I've got Glassine. I've got my Claire Fontaine pastel mat, which is absolutely the best ever. I've got tracing paper. What else do I have in here? All kinds of stuff, really. I've got some extra cello bags. I've got my um, a couple just paper pads down there. So that's that drawer. Next drawer, I have more tins. Yay! So I have my uh, Derwent ink tents. And then I've got this, um, my big tin that's currently holding two other empty tins. <laughs> Like I say, I never throw the tins away, I always keep them. And then the, in this other tin, I have all of my polychromos blacks. I really love those. So I have a whole bunch of them. Next drawer, kind of just another random drawer. I've got my cutting mat, my circle stencil, I've got my box of Mission Gold tubes. Um, yeah, a bunch of other just kind of random things down in there. In this drawer, I have my light box. And then I have a bunch of just um, postal package things just ready to ship things off in and some sketches I have a hard time throwing those initial sketches away I don't know why I just do this drawer is just kind of the junk drawer <laughs> bunch of just inspirational pictures that I really like um, some art magazines a pad of Yupo paper pretty sure that Kindle is, doesn't even work anymore <laughs> Um, yeah, just a, you know, the random catch-all junk drawer. Everyone needs one. That's what that one is. Now this corner is my painting corner, and uh, I love it. It's kind of sits back, and it's just the perfect size for my easel and everything else. So my easel I actually got out of the trash, and uh, the bottom was all rotted and stuff so my husband fixed it and he painted it up for me and i just love it I, I, it has a new life now it can go on helping people create and i just think that that's awesome this is my spray mister i really like it um it works really good for keeping my acrylics wet when i am painting i do a lot of glazing and so uh, i like keeping my acrylics wet for longer this unit here is from Ikea. So I have this little canvas roll thing that you can put um, paintbrushes in. And then I have all of my acrylic paintbrushes up here and my palette knives and things like that. I actually use makeup brushes for my blending brushes. That's what these are, or mop, mop brushes, whatever you wanna call them. Glazing brush. So all of these are just to keep separate from my watercolor brushes and stuff. And then I also have my um, embosser and then my glass scraper to clean my palette with. And then on this shelf, I have my brush cleaner. I have Liquitex Heavy Body Gesso. the high gloss varnish, and then the uh, Liquitex Basics Gesso. And 
Then down here is my palette. I have a glass palette inside of a Masterson's um, box, I guess you would call it. I'm not sure, but uh, it keeps the acrylic paint um, wet. When you close the box, it kind of works like Tupperware, so it works really well. I also have some cheap um, Arteza panels. And this basket, I love these baskets from Ikea. And I have some paper towels in here for painting. I have my water bucket that's in here as well. My water bucket lid. That's a handy little thing, I really like it. Then this is where I keep all of my large, uh, larger tubes of Liquitex Basics. These are like all the colors that um, I use a lot of. And then I also have um, my cell phone. It, it's like a tripod. Then on this side of the wall, I have these Native American hoops that I just used to uh, decorate with. And this is Dorothy. <laughs> it's one of my um, propagations. Then on this shelf here, I have uh, my little detail brushes. I keep them in here because they are quite small and if you put them with the other ones, they're liable to get lost in the crowd. So I keep them all right here in this little owl planter. It's super cute. I also live near the ocean and I'm constantly collecting seashells and uh, sea glass and everything like that. And I, I'm addicted. I can't leave it. <laughs> I have to bring it home. So that's what all of these are. All these are little treasures that I found at the ocean. really love seashells, rocks, crystals, all those kinds of things are just so pretty. Right on this side, I have another um, one of those baskets and in this one I have all of my um, junk journal, art journal, prayer journal, bullet journal. <laughs> Basically just all of my little journals and notebooks and things like that and sketchbooks, all of those are right in this basket here. I got these baskets at Dollar Tree and I just really like the colors. No idea what I'm going to do with them yet. <laughs> This used to be my entire art studio. All I had was just this cabinet, which is also another trash find, and I didn't even paint it. It came, I found it, this color, and I just loved it. So in here, I just have um, stuff that I don't go to or grab on a regular basis. So a lot of it, a lot of it really doesn't even belong in here, but I have some art books. Don't know what that is. Um, I have this uh, cat Christmas ornament, <laughs> um, my graphite powder, I've got extra palettes back in there. It's just kind of just a bunch of random things, you know. That's my um, Pan Pastel palette holder. I've got some, I think that's Mod Podge and Liquitex Medium gloss or, some, or gel or something. Yeah. It's just a bunch of, you know, just your random stuff, really. Got electronic cleaner. Always comes in handy. And this is my, this is an old tea uh, canister that I use to collect change. I also have my large tin of graphite powder. My artist market guide from 2018. Just some random things. Above it, I have my watering can and my glass spray bottle. Then there is uh, Gladys behind. Hi, Gladys. Of course, more seashells. 
salt lamp. And then this little thing um, in the back, there's art that's waiting to be framed. Uh, I've got some, an antique pair of glasses, a uh, hawk's feather that I found, um, my Harry Potter Gringotts money, um, just a bunch of, you know, little things like that, bag, incense holder, and this is my happy planner the months for the months ahead. And then up on my shelf, um, I've got these jars. These are also from Ikea. That one's empty. This next one has watercolor tubes in it. And then this one, I don't know what these things are called, but you put them on the end of your paint tube and then you can kind of roll, roll it up and you're able to like squeeze every little last drop of paint out of there. So that's what those are. Then I also have um, just some pretty crystals. I think they're gorgeous. Some artwork, a little uh, oil warmer, I think they're called. This is my basket of classical CDs and a few books on um, CD. These are my vintage canisters that I really love. I got them off of Etsy. There's another plant. I don't think I've named that one yet, actually. This one's got some of my plant food in it. And then just some random um, decorations and stuff up at the top. My husband actually made that shelf when he was a little boy, so I really like it. Anyways, this is my desk. Now, I love this desk. It's a floating desk, and um, when you're not using it, it can just go straight up on the wall, so it saves a lot of floor space. And then when you want to use it, boom, there you go. You've got a desk. It's so cool. So in here, I've got my little electronics basket. It's got cords and stuff like that in it. This one has all of my strings for packaging orders. I also have my um, prayer jar. I lead a group of sixth grade girls at youth group at our church, and these are all of their prayers that they write down every week, so I just keep them in a jar and pray over them. Got a little turtle, <laughs> packing tape, um, every just everything I need for packing orders and making them look pretty. Another jar of shells. This is a jar of essential oils. More on that shelf as well behind there. Got a little thing of like rocks and beads and stuff for packaging orders. This shelf, I have my tins that I really, <laughs> I obviously have a tin addiction. I didn't really notice that until now. But this one, my um, my Bob Ross tin, I actually turned into a little palette. And then I have my Lucy tin. Um, I haven't done anything with that one yet. Then I have um, this palette, which has my ink tints dried on there. And then this other palette, this is one that I put together and took with me to the Bahamas, so it's super special to me. I think it's a Prima palette, but I mixed a bunch of Primas with uh, Winsor Newton Common, I believe. I have got a receipt book, my square reader, extra glass for my cell phone, because I dropped my phone three times just today. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. Then down here is just random things, glue gun, extra glue, um, just different, different things down in there. Uh, this drawer here, I've got these little like charms uh, that I can tie on to orders just to make them look really pretty. I've got some washi tape flowers got my, um, whatever those are called, address forms, stuff like that, uh, and then I have my postcards that I will write on, as, like use them as little thank you notes for my orders. Then these little uh, boxes down here, they have my 
business cards, my stickers, um, washi tape. And then I also have this wax melt I really like. <laughs> it's from this store on Etsy. And yeah, that's it guys. That's the entire tour. That is everything. I hope that you guys maybe got a little bit inspired and got some ideas for yourself. I hope that you'll leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.